Yo. Salute the flip. Salute the Corey King, Killer Cab, Stack Stone, Wildcat, Mel Cross. All them niggas that was up there. You know what I'm saying? Do my little, you know what I'm saying? YouTube. YouTube reporting. I was, you know what I mean? I've been watching. I've been watching. So, y'all need to go sub to court. If, if you digging a story like this, you know, it's a storyline real quick. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, I ain't going to. I ain't blogging about it to... I won't blog disrespectfully about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it really... You know, it's, it's out of my range. Like, that's not, you know, that's not what I'm into. It's never into no gangs and no shit like that. So I'm watching from a totally, you know what I'm saying? Totally... Unbiased perspective. But anyway, it was up there. And, we, you know, we got an edited video... Not an edited video, an edited interview from Flip. He explained it at the beginning of the joint. So, you know, I mean, I can respect that too. Like, you know, what you what you want to have dudes up there, you know what I mean, fighting on your shit for, especially if it's some like, you know what I'm saying, some personal shit between, between you know, brothers and shit. But, um, this is what happened. You know, and you could go, you could go find this right on Corey King channel. His, his subs ain't up yet, but they gonna, they probably gonna get up off of this if he keep fucking with Flip, you know what I mean? This shit would have been a good look for, um, the dude scheme for Mill, you know what I mean? If y'all familiar with that, that's a, he a newer YouTuber. And, you know, I, I ain't know his credibility. I just, I, I had, I did see him waving guns at the camera and I was like, you know what I mean? Maybe this channel ain't for me, but, you know, do the investigation of the YouTube situation. I was watching, you know what I'm saying? He was on live with um with Corey King and, 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 and Flip ain't really Flip ain't want him to come up and be amongst that panel of, of um NYC Bloods. He ain't want him to come up because of the Supreme Bimmy blog, which is it's like a I mean, it was a domino effect anyway, because Flip brought Bimmy up, and Flip brought Soul B up. Stack Stone got in the mix. I don't know how, but it's like, you know what I mean? I think, I think the wrong mix. I think he put the wrong mix out, but I don't even, the, the, let's not jump around. Skin was supposed to be up there, y'all, and I, I feel like that would have been a good look for the homie channel and shit. You know what I mean? I want to see niggas come up in this shit. I don't care if, if my video run out. I'm sorry. I might do a part two to this. I want to see everybody come up in this shit. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, to not have to do other shit. To not have to do grimy shit. To not have to do... I'm not grimy, like, but I threw rocks at the pen, you know what I'm saying? But, like, from in another, you know what I mean, another type of way, I wasn't on no gorilla bloods, you know what I'm saying? Selling... You know what I mean? In the projects and shit. But everybody got their own path. This ain't even explained about me. But they, um... Yeah, he was supposed to be up there. Flip ain't like the Bimmy shit, he said. So he ain't get up there. But anyway, so I guess that... I guess I'm not, you know, I'm just speculation. I guess that brought Stack up there. Stack Stone sitting amongst them. And from the, from the rip... They mad close. First of all, they mad close. And when I'm looking at Stack Face, I'm like, all right, this nigga, he he got an aggressive stance right now. Like he's, you know what I mean? He feeling it looked like he feeling some type of way. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Just Corey King had passed with the phone, showing the pictures. I mean, he passed it back real quick. I mean, he's kind of sitting off like this. You, you know, I check body language in the room just in general, but just to watch it from my perspective, I check body language, you know what I'm saying, and it was, I don't know, it, probably, it might not, it's not tension, they probably don't got beef, but something was in stack head, like, I, I can't say in this head, because I don't want niggas to feel disrespected on this shit, I could say, the nigga 
felt like he had to express himself, it seemed like. But even to the fact of when Corey was like, you know, like pointing out the day ones, he had skips stacked. Like, not day ones. I don't know where I forgot where exactly where he was, you know what I mean? Why he was singling out niggas. But he pointed, he pointed to Wildcat, Mel Cross, Killer Kev, and he ain't really say, you know what I mean? He ain't really go stack. I don't know what reason that was for. I don't, I forgot what part of the joint that was. But you know what I mean? If y'all was watching, you you can see that. And um, I seen it on on the on the dude's face. He ain't really like that shit. Corey did eventually be like, yeah, he put in work. That's my man. You know what I'm saying? But like, at first, like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, shit. Even I caught that. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking from rookie eyes. I don't fuck with, you know what I'm saying? What they fuck with or, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta hear the stories to be, you know what I mean. But yeah, so apparently, at some point in this, stack. And Flip, I guess Flip introduced the question of the beef with Casanova. So, I guess they cut it off. And Corby had to like, chill, Flip, or whatever. And Stack is like, don't put your hand in my face. I'm just, you know, this is what, this did happen. I don't know if he was talking to Flip or no shit like that. I really couldn't catch it off his live. I caught it this morning. This is Corby King's live. Y'all could go watch it. He... Somehow Stack was like, yo, get your hand out of my face. Corey's like, y'all, I ain't even have, you know what I'm saying? I'm, it's a big ass mic from whatever. That, and so when the shit, I guess they had a little disagreement right there. And Corey wasn't about to let them talk about Cass or whatever. So I don't know if, I don't know if that's the edited part, like all of it. I don't know if the edited part is them fighting about them not talking about Cass or whatever, but apparently after it, Stack and Cass had got on the phone, or some at some point, Cass and Stack had got on the phone, this is this is all jumbled up a little bit, you can go watch the Corey shit, but apparently, apparently, you know, Cass balked on um, Stack Stone or whatever, I'm not saying that Stack, Stack probably was Walking back, I don't, you know what I mean? It's not to take a nigga man or to say, you know what I mean? Somebody checked him or whatever. Nobody seemed like nobody really got checked in this situation, but they was in a, then, um, at some point, these niggas was in the elevator going downstairs and shit and leaving, and, you know, they got into a little scuffle and shit in the elevator. You know, Corey was ready to get it shaking. Stack is like, nah, I don't want, you know what I mean? I don't even want to do that with you. So, Corey, you know what I mean? Being a, you know what I mean, some, you know, a changed person. Like, some, some, I see niggas who, who get on go, they can't stop. They gotta go. That's mostly, that's how, you know what I mean? That's, that's most jail nigga mentalities I know. Like, you, it's go, it's go. Like, they gonna go on you. You gotta go, you know what I mean? If you ain't in that energy frame, they gonna get you. Cause that's, that's how an aggressive person gets you. They ready to go. You ready to, you know what I mean? Talk it out or, you know what I mean? But whatever. He, he 